Hello and a warm welcome on what is a glorious night for football. Perfect playing conditions. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, and my partner, ready to bring you all the analysis and technical talk, is Stuart Robson. And all roads lead to this quarter-final here at the 2023 Women's World Cup. It's Australia versus France. Well, this has the makings of a very good game. Two sides full of quality, a great atmosphere and everything to play for. A last four places up for grabs here. And the starting 11 for Australia. Well, they're starting with an attacking 4-5-1 formation with three players in advance of two holding midfielders. But it's important that the wide players come in field to join the centre forward at the right time. Here's the side France will go with. Well, it'll be interesting to see how the wingers play today. Will they stay high and wide? Will they come in field and support the centre forward? And how deep will they come out of possession? They're going to be key to this formation. And they kick off here. Now, potential danger. There it is! The opening goal of this match, and what a start they've made! Well, here it is again, and it's a superbly weighted through ball to break that defensive line. But I'm not sure the keeper should be beaten at that near post. She won't enjoy seeing that again. France get the ball moving again. Can they come up with an answer here? Gayogo. Not a good pass. And threading it forward. And they couldn't quite muster a real threat. Sandy Toletti. And moving the ball nicely. Now, does she mean business? And a goal! An end-to-end -end game! And they weren't behind for long! Well, let's see this again. The vision to play this through ball is superb. And the finish is really good. She just smashes that past the keeper. That's a top-quality goal. So back underway, one goal apiece here. Body on the line. Magnificent challenge to win it back. Promising move this from France, but it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending. Courtney Vine. Teammates available. 
Can they take the lead? And a goal to re-establish their advantage. Just look at the celebrations. Well, as you can see, the weight of the through ball is key to this goal. But you have to question the keeper here. It's a good finish, but she shouldn't be beaten inside the near post. She'll be disappointed with that. So on with the match. 2-1 is the scoreline. What's going to happen next? Basha. Now with Lissomer. Making a bit of headway. Oh, in with a chance. Well, fantastic reflex action. Could be a chance to break here. Now well, there to intercept. Selma Basha. Well, it wasn't the best piece of finishing in all honesty. Goal kick. Yeah, it was all good until that final effort. Just shows you how devastating they can be on the break, though. This looks threatening. And nothing put the referee spotted the infringement and it will be a free kick in a position of genuine menace Just wide of the target. Yeah, and I would say she's a bit unlucky. She's got to try and get it into the corner. It just bends away from the post. That's a good effort, though. Wendy Venard, Selma Basha, Le Sommer. It did look on for them, but not to be. Counter-attacking, very much an option. Chance to finish. And there it is, the goal they wanted for security. They lead by two now. They can breathe that bit more easily. Well, let's see this again. This is counter-attacking football at its very best. And the movement is good, making for a comfortable finish. It's a really great goal. So they get the ball moving again. 3-1 the scoreline here. What's going to happen next? Le Sommer. And beating her marker. Could be. And it's in. This game very much back on as a contest. Well, just watch this again. A change of pace, a change of direction and a decent finish. That's a very good goal. So back underway, can France find another goal? Kerr. Courtney Vine. Oh, a perfectly timed pass. Oh, strong hand on the ball. 
Bertonetti. And in the perfect position to read it. Giving it a try. Well, plenty of power, but just too much height on it. Well, France have controlled possession, as you can see, but it means nothing unless they start to be more creative, particularly in the wide areas. Up to this point, they've been too easy to defend against. Well, certainly, and here they are passing the ball around once more. Showing patience, looking for the equaliser, and a decent save, full credit. Can someone get on the end of this? Straight forward for the keeper. A oh, terrific pass. And it might be. And there we have it. She's only gone and made it a brace. Nobody can stop her. Well, as you can see, the weight of the through ball is key to this goal. But really, the goalkeeper should never be exposed that easily. Great team goal, but woeful defending. So the current scoreline, 4-2. Basha, Sandy Toletti. Oh, far from the ideal pass. Katrina Gori. Can they hit on the break? Oh, in with a chance. And a goal! to increase their advantage to three can they be stopped well here it is head down hit through the ball and get it on target that's a top class finish there was no stopping that first half display and just look at that score well the electronic board showing three additional minutes and possession lost intercepted Le Sommer Dali it might be and thumped away and there it is, the half-time whistle. So off and running again, and there was a real gulf in class in the first 45. Will we see an improved effort from France in the second? Offside by a fraction. An interceptor there.
Kerr. On to Ford. And a good looking pass. Australia unable to hang on to the ball. Dali. Gayogo. Oh, a golden opportunity for her. And there she is at the double. Nobody can get close to her. Well, here it is again, and it's a superbly weighted through ball to break that defensive line. And just look at that finish. 1v1 against the keeper, and she hits it with power. It's a great goal. scoreline we see all that often 5-3 oh she's made a crucial tackle there Dali Karshawi now here's Majhi Tremendously strong in the tackle. Good move in the making from France. And that pass could be troublesome. Oh, but brilliantly read to cut it out. It looks so promising. Kyra Cooney Cross. Patient build-up at the moment. Oh, borderline offside, but correct. Well, shielding the ball admirably. Eugénie Le Sommer. On to Gianni, and threading it forward. Oh, and it goes! Another goal! And I'll tell you what, the impossible is becoming quite possible. Well, let's look at this again. To pick out this pass shows wonderful vision. It's inch perfect, but you have to ask questions of the keeper. Could she have done better? I think so. You can't be beaten at your near post like that. to go back quite a few years to remember the last time I covered a game with a scoreline of 5-4 oh big chance well credit to her for a brave piece of goalkeeping well she's read that so well hasn't she she was so quick off her line the verdict is offside here And on the back of that particular challenge, will the referee let the matter rest there? And a yellow card, it's going to be Stewart. Yeah, the ref's got that right. It's a yellow card all day long.
good effort here. And a wonderful diving save to deny the opportunity. Short corner favourite. Determined defending. Well, behind for another corner. They favoured a short one here. The inside route looking promising. Good pressure high up the pitch. Has the strength to hang on to it. Counter-attacking, very much an option. Is it going to be? Well, what an opportunity, but really good defending, you've got to say. Just 15 minutes remaining. An attack for a promise. Moving the ball nicely, trying to carve out the equaliser. Oh, it's there for her. Well, it's astonishing. A very unlikely comeback. But now they are level, having trailed by three. Well, here's the replay, and just look at that power. That's almost unstoppable. That's a great strike. This is a joy, 5-5. Five, five. Can they grab the lead late on? In possession to give them the lead, maybe. Oh, it's astonishing! One of the greatest comebacks you're ever likely to see. And now the question is, can they see this out? Well, here it is again, and it's a superbly weighted through ball to break that defensive line. While the movement in the box is equal to it, it's such good timing. What a goal. Well, a dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. And forward they go, chasing the game. Oh, that's a really good run. Can't miss, surely. Well, it's the late show, and they are level again. Well, here's the replay, and just look at that power. That's almost unstoppable. That's a great strike. level again here both sets of fans being put through something of an emotional mangle Eugenie Le Sommer they're on the scent of a winner late in this game under real pressure defensively will they pay the price and a goal this is why we adore this game. Late drama, and now they're in front. Well, here it is again, and she's just been caught on the ball. That's a complete lack of awareness. It's a poor bit of play, really. What 
was a big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? And teammates to play it to. Real chance. What a lovely strike. Lethal piece of finishing. Drilled home with true conviction. Tremendous goal. Well, here's the replay, and it all starts off with that cross into the box, just begging for a teammate to get on the end of it. And then just look at the way she opens up her body here, times it perfectly and catches it so sweetly. It's a wonderful strike. Well, this is far from over. We're going to have five minutes of stoppage time. Well, that's really strong play to keep hold of the ball. Good strength to keep the ball. It's a good-looking ball in behind. And in it goes. She's given them an opportunity. She's given them hope. Well, we won't get tired of watching this because the interplay around the box is wonderful. And then what a strike. That's hit with such ferocity. Certainly no stopping that. That's a great goal. Goal. And if you enjoy high-scoring contests, this has been the game for you. Well, clattered away. This could be it. And a goal. They lead by two now. And that allows them to breathe a bit more easily. Well, here it is again, and really you have to question the goalkeeper. She shouldn't be beaten inside that near post, even if it was a good strike. Goal! And the referee's whistle, France, will be in the semi-finals. Well, that was an excellent game, and they were brilliant going forward. They really were. But they were slow to react when they lost possession, and that's something they need to improve upon in the next round.